other YouTubers. Today is January 1st, 2018, 10 o'clock in the morning, and I just took my last bit of food and uh, liquids. I've started my dry fast, and uh, I'm going into this with a. I'm going to try to do this for three days, 72 hours. I'll try to take it longer if I can. It's all about willpower, and I know I have this addiction to food, even though I've been eating just, except for the, lately I did a, a test because I was symptom-free and everything, and so for three days, we had the normal, I guess, meat, potatoes, and, you know, vegetable diet for suppers, and all my symptoms came back, so... I know it's the food that uh, is hurting us, or hurting me anyway. So, <clears throat> last night we went to a restaurant, had a really awesome, like the best meal I've had in a long time. Mine was a vegetarian meal, but it was so good. Anyway, that's, that's not here or there, so... It was like our New Year's dinner, and now I've started my dry fast, and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. I had my last enema. Uh, you know, so many people get so much good out of fasting, so I'm going to get some healing done. You can go online, and you can find out all the stuff about healing and everything, but uh, right now I'm going to go and shovel the driveway. It's been snowing. It's not much snow. Because uh, later on in my fast, it's going to be really difficult to even do anything. Uh, your body goes through such a strong healing stage, you're basically going to be in bed. So, I have my wife's support through this. And we're going to, she's just doing uh, wet fast so far, like a water fast. So, I'm doing a dry dry. So, I'm not going to have any contact with water. Uh, absolutely no food, no nothing is going to go in my mouth at all. And uh, it's going to be a strange go. I've done uh, the same deal with uh, water fast and you do meet your demons. So I have to overcome this and I know I have an addiction to food. And it doesn't even matter if you're like a vegetarian or if you're a vegan, you still have an addiction to food. So this is the, the hard part, is overcoming that addiction. And then you control the food, not the food controls you. So uh, this is going to be interesting. I know it's going to be tough. But I think I'm ready for it. Yeah, and I really, things I'm trying to do is, uh, is my lower back pain, get rid of that. I've been monitoring my, my urine, and I'm not getting any sediment. It's Once in a while, I get sediment, especially if I just do the the herbal teas for kidneys. Um, I get uh, sediment, like if I do that four days in a row. Uh, but uh, when you're doing a, a water fast, which I just finished doing, you don't do the tea. So it was uh, stopped the sediment and everything like that, which got me kind of worried. So... I've been looking online and people are getting huge results with uh, the dry fasting and they're getting like copious amounts of sediment and stuff in their urine. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, just a word though, like uh, it was really easy staying in ketosis. We got the ketone strips and testing the urine. It was really easy staying in ketosis. Like if you do a 48 water fast, you're going to jump right into ketosis, and it's easy to stay there, even if you eat one meal a day. Uh, just keep it in a really, really tight window. So we would eat for even half an hour, 20 minutes, and that would be it. Same time every day. Stay in ketosis that way, no problem. Now, I found that when I ate that one meal, which I ate just uh, fruit, uh, raw fruit, the ketosis gone, like gone, and that was hard to get back. And even this is the second day, and I still haven't got my ketones back. So, fruit just kills it. But you know, uh, 
uh, it kills the ketones, but your acidosis goes away. So um, you kind of got to balance it. So you do you, you want ketones, you get higher acidosis, and then your acidosis goes down, your ketones goes up. So right now I'm going to be going into major ketosis, and I'm going to. Uh, hopefully not get too much acidosis and I think if it goes really bad I might put some baking soda underneath like no aluminum baking soda under my tongue just a little bit just to uh, get rid of the acidosis so and I know that works because uh, if I have a really sore back or sore knee I just take some baking soda like quarter a teaspoon underneath my tongue and let it dissolve and amazing amazing things happen like oh wow all the pain's gone so that's acidosis now if you got acidosis that means your lymphatic system's plugged up or your kidneys aren't working right or your adrenals aren't working right which is causing your kidneys not work right so you gotta figure all that out and that's why I'm doing this dry fast so I'm gonna get my lymph system fixed I'm going to get my kidneys working again and get my adrenals slowing back down. Because, man, at night I've got some major um, uh, leg issues. Like, they're always kicking on their own. So, and I know when I take magnesium, that goes away. <clears throat> and last night I just realized that I didn't get any uh, leg cramps at all or any of that, uh, what do they call it? Uh, it's a syndrome where your legs are kicking all the time. It's just brutal. You really you can't sleep when your legs are moving by themselves. Uh, so I guzzled some of this uh, cranberry juice, and it's organic, and it's got zero sweeteners in it or nothing. It's so hard to drink. Guzzled that down, and last night I didn't have any problems with my legs. Slept like a baby. Uh, kept feeling like I had to urinate all the time. I didn't get out of bed. Got up in the morning and I, I only urinated maybe 250 milliliters, which is crazy. Why would it make you want to urinate? So, I mean, I've held my urine to where I could I could fill up a mason jar, you know, one liter. You know, so I don't know what my body's telling me like to have to urinate so often. But uh, anyway, looking forward to this dry fast. Get myself all fixed up. Got to go do the driveway. And I uh, love it that my wife's supporting me on this. It's going to be great. And I'm also, uh, you know, got a whole bunch of support from all kinds of people that have done this before. So this is going to be good. Bye for now.